welcome. In this video, I'll be talking about the different characteristics of a sine sinusoid. A sine sinusoid is a fundamental waveform in mathematics and engineering, often used to describe oscillatory phenomena. So it's used for oscillatory phenomena. In analyzing a sinusoidal waveform, three critical characteristics are the period, root mean square, RMS value, and its relationship to the peak value. So we're going to start with the period, the period of a sine sinusoid, period. The period of a sine wave is the time it takes for one complete cycle of the wave to occur. So it's the time for one complete cycle to occur and is denoted by T and is measured in seconds the period is inversely related to the frequency of the waveform so that period is equal to 1 over the frequency. And frequency is in hertz. Frequency is in hertz. So one example. So let's say you're given a, a sine wave that has a frequency of 50 hertz. Sine with frequency. of 50 Hertz what is the period so you do that uh, period is equal to 1 over 50 Hertz which is equal to 0 0.02 seconds Now we're going to take a look at the RMS value, root mean square RMS, root mean square value. It, what it means is that it is a measure of its effective or equivalent DC value, measure of effective or equivalent DC value. It provides a way to quantify the average power of the waveform. Used to quantify the average power of the waveform. The RMS value is calculated by taking the square root of the average of the squares of the instantaneous values over one cycle. Okay, so let's take a look at the So let's let's have a a, a, a sign. Okay, so let's have, we're talking about a sign. Okay, so the sign fun the sign function is it is is you know is defined as s of t equal to a sine of two times pi times the frequency times the times time times time. plus the phase angle so 
So the RMS value is a statistical measure of the magnitude of, ver of, of a varying quantity. And is especially useful in contexts like electrical engineering for quantifying the effective value of an AC waveform. Okay, so the definition definition of RMS he says that he says that P RMS is equal to one over the period times the integral of zero to the period of the square of the sinusoid over dt okay so what we need to do is we need to find the RMS value so what is the RMS of s of t sine sinusoid we need to use this formula so b rms is equal to the square root of 1 over t now i'm sorry i'm gonna do it more neatly one. 1 over t times the integral from 0 to the period of uh, a sine 2 pi f t plus v dt And then all of this is going to be square. So we need to seem to, in order to solve this integral here, we need we can simplify it as follows. We can use, so we can use use uh, trigonometric identity. That says that cosine of x. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it the other way. Okay, so sine square of x is equal to one minus cos two x over two. So let's solve the integral first and then we plug the value back into okay back into the square root function okay so zero to t let's 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 square that term here so it's going to be a square sine square two pi f t plus v Notice we have a sine square here. So we can turn it into something like this. That's equal to a square. And then we can say one minus cosine of x will be the whole thing inside. So we'll multiply times two, that will be four pi f t plus 2 phi over 2 dt now we can multiply this and split the numerator and the denominator so what we will do is something like this 0 to t of a square to dt minus 0 to t of uh, cosine 
and we can say this like one half one half of uh, cosine 4 pi ft plus 2 phi dt notice this is equal to zero the reason is because uh, that integral over a full period is zero because the cosine function has an average value of zero over one complete cycle this is due to cosine has an average value of zero over a complete cycle that means that the only integral left is equal to a square 0 to t this one here a square over 2 a square over 2 dt and that's equal to a square over 2 times t and the integral from 0 to t that's equal to a square over 2 times the period okay so that solves the integral so now the BRMS of T this one here we're gonna use the formula is equal to 1 over t times the value of the integral that we found which is equal to a square t over 2 and that's equal to so this cancel this cancels and we're left with a square over 2 take the square root we have a over square root of 2 so that will be the RMS value. Since so what this is saying is that the, R, the root mean square value is approximately 70.7% of the peak amplitude. The RMS value is approximately 70.7% of the peak value which is a big value a which is a crucial result when analyzing AC waveforms in various engineering applications The relationship between the RMS value and the peak value is a significant in electrical engineering because it provides a useful measure for comparing alternating current AC to direct current DC. The peak value A is the maximum value the waveform reaches, while the RMS value provides a consistent measure of the waveform's power content. 
so RMS provides a consistent measure of the waveforms power content this re so this relation this relationship is cru is crucial in designing systems that use ac power as it allows for the calculation of power and efficiency Let me give you one example of this RMS value. So let's say I've sine wave has a peak value of 10 volts and we need to calculate so what is the RMS value so we can say voltage RMS is equal to uh, a square over not a square I'm sorry a over square root of 2 which is equal to 10 volts over square root of 2 and that's equal to approximately 7.07 .07 volts so in this video we were able to derive the RMS value of a sinusoidal wave we learned uh, about the period and we learned the relationship between the peak value and the RMS value. RMS is 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 is, is crucial to for for the DC for the DC value while the for for a sinusoidal wave. So it is very useful for comparing alternating current to DC current. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.